A sailor's ability to properly anchor has always been an essential part of seamanship. More and more cruising sailors are using a chain anchor road. Chain has advantages. It's got increased holding power, and you get to use less scope. But there are disadvantages. It's noisy, and it can be uncomfortable. In a strong surging swell, chain doesn't have the elasticity that you have in nylon. Up next is Don Street with two tips on using a chain anchor road. The first is using a chain hook and a nylon snubber line to get the best advantages of both nylon and chain. If you're anchoring with chain, a very useful tool is a chain hook, which can be purchased at any trucking supply store. The chain hook hooks directly into the chain like that. No knots. As long as there's strain on it, it will hold and it will never slip. You veer 40 feet of chain, 20 feet of nylon line. Then the chain hangs in a loop in a catenary. The nylon takes the load as you rise in a swell and fetch back. Instead of coming up hard on chain, you come back on elastic nylon, which is much quieter and will reduce the shock load at the anchor a tremendous amount and therefore minimize your chances of dragging anchor, breaking the anchor out. It also means that you'll lie much quieter because you will not have chain grinding in the hawse pipe, in the chock, on the bobstay. As you can see, we are riding completely on the nylon line. The chain is slack. If you're anchoring with chain, you will have an anchor windlass. And in most boats, it's electrically powered. And sooner or later, you're going to discover your anchor windlass is not working, and you have to pick up your anchor. This is not an insurmountable problem with a modern yacht with powerful cockpit winches. If you have a chain hook, it's simple. Just take the chain hook, hook it into the chain, run the line back along the deck, start cranking, and you're off to the races. If you don't have a chain hook, all is not lost. You just take a piece of line, around the chain with a rolling hitch. And there we are. We run this line back to a cockpit winch, start cranking until this knot arrives back at the sheet winch. As soon as it arrives at the sheet winch, we will then attach the blue line with the chain hook and continue hauling on the blue line. And once the blue line becomes too blocked, the white line will be attached and will crank up on the white line. As you can see, we're too blocked on the chain hook, so we take the white line, do a rolling hitch around the chain. We run that back to the winch and continue hauling the chain up. We just keep alternating lines in this manner. And each time, depending on the length of the boat, you pick up 20 to 30 to 40 feet of chain. And even if you have 200 feet of chain out, by alternating the lines, you can get all your chain up without any great difficulty using your cockpit winches. Doing this with two separate winches, you can haul up the anchor chain almost as fast and possibly faster than you can with the electric anchor windlass. And here comes the anchor right now. This is Don Street. We'll see you next issue with another Streetwise tip. <laughs>